Hey there, I'm Ryan Kennedy. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of terms that I think are really important with the golf swing. Pushing off and unweighting. Now these are two very important terms and it really depends on which foot you're looking at as to what you want to do. And we're going to be talking a lot about what we see with the body, tra body track pressure mat because this is going to show me exactly where you're pushing, how you're pushing, are you unweighting, which foot are you unweighting, which one are you pushing off of. The body track pressure mat shows me what cannot be seen on regular video. Now, there are times when you can see the reactions of the body that occur from pushing off. For instance, if you watch a lot of Rory McIlroy, you can see him coming down into his lead leg, pushing off, and you see the body reacting by coming back upward, generating a lot of power. Uh, you'll really see this on the long drivers when they're actually jumping off the ground. They're pushing off the ground. That's what we're trying to see. When are we pushing? How much are we pushing? With which foot are we pushing? Now, one of the most common flaws I really see in golf is people trying to move from the back foot to the front foot. And I think there's a big misconception that you're actually pushing off the trail foot. But that's really just not what's happening. So, to demonstrate a little bit, I like to use this uh, pressure board here. Now if I'm pushing off the back foot, there's going to be a ton of pressure in the, in the right foot. That board is still going to be on the ground if I'm pushing off until I finally land on the other side. But what we see in high level golf swings is not jumping off the right foot, it's rather they're removing weight from the right foot as though you just pick it up off the ground and now you can get some pressure on the front foot to push off on the front foot. Now sometimes you will see this push off in video. You may see somebody get back into the right foot and then the right side comes real high. That really is often going to cause a lot of over the top stuff because the whole right side is high. You can't get the club shaft shallowed if the whole right hip, shoulder are coming up high in the downswing. So that's one of the worst ways that I see this show up in golf swing. Push off, shaft steepen, the whole right side starts to go a little bit like this. I exaggerate, of course, so that you can see it here on the video. So know that we do want to you know, load the right foot, but when you start to move back to the left, we are not pushing off of that foot. We're going to remove weight, we're going to unweight the trail foot so that we can push on the left foot and create a whole bunch of power. Now that's why the timing of this is so important. If you're hanging back here on the right foot, you start your downswing, when are you going to have time to start pushing up there? You've only got 0.2 seconds in a downswing. So if you're hanging back here at the top, you're late. You're not going to be able to get over there. You're not going to be able to unweight the right and push on the front foot. You just don't have enough time. So we really want to see the unweighting start to happen past lead arm parallel. Lead arm is parallel to the ground. You continue the backswing, and that's when you begin to unweight the right foot, and then you begin to push on the left so that you can get that Rory McElroy look. All right, so pushing off is great on the front foot. Unweighting is great on the back foot.